My name is Tash Peterson and I'm an animal rights activist. just sort of turn those emotions of sadness and pain into passion and that's exactly why I always speak with urgency and that's exactly why I do my disruptions. I would rather be naked than wear someone else's skin. Of course most of it is hatred, resilience and abuse and harassment from the general public. Hey dogs, what, what do you support? What do you support? What do you live on? There have been times where I've literally feared for my life because I've had my home address just leaked across the internet and I've had people tell me that they're going to come and rape and murder me. The message has hit them and they're feeling either guilty or triggered or they simply just don't understand why I'm speaking up. If only they saw what was actually happening to these animals, they'd realise why I do what I do. My name's Ian. Um, I work as a uh, policy slash research officer for the Pastoralists and Graziers Association of Western Australia. Our Western Australian farmers are uh, going about their uh, routine and I might add lawful business. They don't understand uh, when they're engaged in the production of food why that is a bad thing. When you want to pillory somebody, you just say what they do is all bad. But a typical activist tactic is to just portray the person you don't like as being bad or evil. And it's an easy sell. I really don't think activists present a real, you know, a credible threat, uh, but they certainly are out there and they frighten people. It definitely takes a huge emotional toll upon me, but I always try and turn the negative energies into positive to continue my mission as an animal rights activist. I obviously get messages all the time from people around the world saying that my work has inspired them, so there's a lot of positive feedback as well. People see me as a huge figure in the whole animal rights movement across the globe. And to me, that seems very surreal. I've been able to reach tens of millions of people across the world. I mean, I've risked so much. I've, I've lost one of my jobs because of my activism. I'm obviously risking so many things by getting a criminal record. It's just insane to me that people think that I'm risking all these things just for money and fame. It's really saddening. If one disruption can even make just one person go vegan, it's totally worth it. Animals want to live! Just like us! I'm Dr. Marnie Lishman and I'm a health and community psychologist. Veganism is really interesting because I guess it's perceived as quite an extreme um, belief system around food intake. When you're taking a blanket approach and saying everyone needs to do this and you're pitching it in a way that doesn't really match what you're trying to, the message you're trying to get across, you're going to lose people and you're going to lose interest and your message is going to be completely diluted. The more people that hate me and are triggered by me, the more successful I am as an activist.